Hey, Bill is Krosama here, and we actually have the Perfect Grade Wing Zero here built and completed for you guys. Uh, now, this is the Pearl version, so it is uh, just, you know, has like a little coating to it, uh, unlike the original that released back in 2001. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the head sculpt first. Now, I did have to take it off the tripod, just that way I can kind of maneuver around. Honestly, I don't want to touch this because um, the second I really start messing with this, I, I feel like it's just going to like explode or fall apart on me. Um, but yeah, the head sculpt, the only big issue I have is like you see those vents? There's not one piece that goes on the inside of those vents. It's all just clear. So there's no like gray or anything. It's just you can see directly into the neck, which is super odd. You would think that they would put some vents right inside there, but... I mean, I guess not. I don't know why. I kind of looked at all the parts, and I don't, I don't have any leftover parts except for some uh, poly caps. Um, but yeah, the V fin's gold and looks really good. And uh, basically, the cameras as well as the eyes will illuminate whenever you turn on the light. Now we we'll take a look at the body. Man, oh man, this was probably the most difficult part of the entire kit, uh, mainly because there's just a lot of screws, a lot of like you know wiring there's just everything involved with this but you put a silver piece right in the middle um of, of that little you know chest piece and all that's supposed to illuminate but you know i don't have the batteries in because it takes i think uh lr 43 batteries if, if i'm not mistaken and it was a saturday and i just really throughout this entire week i just really couldn't be bothered to go get these batteries Plus, if I ever did get them, I'm only going to do the illumination for a video, and I would never turn the lights back on ever again, so I kind of just ignored it. But uh, one little piece right there inside the vents, that thing uh, is just messed up. And another thing, so this right here is like a, uh, I forgot what the actual terminology is for it, but it's kind of like a rubber piece, like it's a soft rubber. It's not a hard plastic, this little red right here. So that was... Um, <laughs> Yeah, that was kind of a pain to mess with. They are gonna have the skirts right here. So um, basically, the front side skirts, uh, you know, they're, they're they're nice. It's just you know pearlescent color. You know, blue is all metallic, so they're fine. So moving on to the legs. The legs are okay for the most part. I really don't have any issues with them per se. Um, they just took a little bit to actually build on the live stream. But there's one thing that is messed up, and that's going to be the hip joints and it's kind of and you can't really see it like this uh but they're they're just not tight they kind of lean and it's a little bit of an issue this thing takes like i swear to god it takes like 50 screws in total um and just the one screw that i thought i tightened up enough on the hip is just the one that makes it super loose so it's kind of unfortunate but it still stands very well now we're looking at the arms. This is the worst part about the arms right there is going to be the, these two pieces that, you know, basically sandwich together. They don't sandwich together. And then there's this wide gap right there, um, right on the bicep. And it's on both of them. And I don't know how to fix that. Um, so maybe one day I'll go back and try and fix it. But uh, the hands, the hands are going to have like those individual joints, much like the um, other perfect grades have. They're fine for the most part, but they're a solid white, which is very offsetting from the like pearlescent, you know, translucent clear um, parts that is on the rest of the armor. So it's a little bit odd, but you know, for the most part, it's not really too bad. And with moving on to the wings, this is going to be the main thing about this kit. These wings are beautiful. Um, it sucks that this is just going to be one solid piece, unlike like the master grade and the uh, real grade, where like the two parts right here separate. Um, this, however, actually does basically separate, so that's pretty good. Uh, but the way to get this open is by bringing this piece all the way up, and bam, it just snaps it right out, which is... Yeah, it's pretty cool. Now, of course, you are going to have the beam rifle. And it's going to have a clear green part right there for the, uh, the little camera. But it looks good. I mean, if I can have it focus. Um, yeah, it looks good overall. It's not really too big of an issue. It does have a connecting piece uh, right here that connects directly into the palm of the hands. But, I mean, it looks good. If you're really going to be painting this kit, you're going to have just tons of little spaces that you can just, like, separate into different colors. Um, you know, you got the hoses right here. You want to, you know, paint either silver, bronze, gold, whatever color. And it's also going to have right here etched in uh, zero. So that's actually a pretty uh, nifty little added bonus. And there you go. So, yeah, it basically just says zero. Now, the kit can combine the Buster Rifles together. 
But this is the big problem about this kit. I'm, this is like one of a thousand problems with this kit. Um, for one, it doesn't come with a stand. So you're not going to be able to actually put it on a stand and perform that uh, action unless you get like a third party stand or do like a do it yourself kind of thing or something. But there's no like adapter. There's not really anything that you get to put this onto a stand. So you're really going to have to be creative or just get something that is third party, you know, or, you know, knock off bootleg and then uh, go ahead and mount it on that. But this is the other problem. This kit is super super fragile and i mean like hand grenade you know like original real grade you know hand grenade to the max now i can tell you right now this kit has been sitting in my backlog for roughly about eight years uh i think i, I bought this kit in the end of 2011 if i'm not mistaken and i just never really had the passion to build it it looked cool but i was like you know what this is a little bit too advanced when i first got into gunpla so it just sat there i never had the motivation to build it until recently now, I think because of this, the kit has become fragile over the years, maybe th through different, you know, climates and temperatures. Um, that might have made a lot of the plastic very brittle because I ran into the problem that most of the, like, pegs easily broke off without any effort whatsoever. Just, like, any slight force of pressure, the entire thing just destroyed. Now, this kit is also going to come with two beam sabers, but, man... I'm, I'm trying to be positive right now. Uh, this kit just really doesn't do anything well. Any movement I try to put this thing in to you know, get a dynamic pose, I swear to you not, this thing just breaks like instantly. And, I, and it, it's really frustrating because I really wanna love this kit. I really want this thing to be just fantastic in every single way. But it's like I, I'm so scared to even like move it right now. Um, and so like I do apologize because I'm, I'm not going to put it in any dynamic poses. Even the backpack, the backpack is completely jacked up. And honestly, I'm, I'm not even bothered by it because this is like I got T minus like eight or seven hours before I have to fly out to uh, the United States. Um, so I'm kind of like rushing this and I still need to get a, a decent amount of sleep. <laughs> it's like 1 a.m. right now. Um, but yeah, the beam sabers are cool. I'm not trashing the weaponry i'm not trashing the aesthetics but god damn it this thing is so difficult to mess with now the actual feathers are made of this material that has like a little uh, like a little metal wire right inside here so you can bend this however you want i'm really trying not to uh mess with it too much but it looks good man i, I you know i kind of do talk shit but i think this got the uh the feathers right uh, the real grade is definitely a uh, you know a plus. I think the real grade actually did really good with it. Um, but the master grade I think just did not look as great. But this this is definitely a a perfection of how the wings should be for the wing zero. Now honestly, I'm sorry that I'm not like really putting it in many poses. Like I said, man, this thing is just really a, a headache and a half to deal with, and I'm not really up for a. Uh, for headaches at the, at the moment so this is kind of like the best way i can get it without it just falling over or completely breaking on me at the moment so it looks good man like this on your shelf when it's just like in a very like neutral pose i think it looks fantastic this is just very enormous for a wing gundam because obviously they are you know just naturally small mobile suits but this is definitely going to tower over most of your mobile suits if you don't have any other like you know giant master grades or any giant perfect grades already in your collection and then for a size comparison i know this is going to be on a stand but here is the master grade wing gundam right next to the perfect grade so even on the stand it's not it's not even close enough to uh to being in the same size bracket this is like a huge gap so i'm just gonna move this a little bit closer as close as i can get it um but yeah there's just like a huge gap i think this is about level right there yeah i mean this is thing it's just gonna be so huge uh but they're both gonna look really good on your shelf i mean one is obviously a pearlescent uh metallic coating and the other one's just a normal version but regardless i think they're both gonna look really good now another issue is even some of the joints that don't have any kind of like you know screws in it uh, much like all the joints in the backpack they are super super stiff like oh my god you're gonna have to like you know shave a little bit of it down or use like I don't know some kind of oil or something so that way you can kind of like loosen it up 
But man, I'm telling you right now, this thing has been a pain to, well, not much of a pain, but it's been very anxiety driven to like pose the wings because I'm like, oh my God, these things are going to break because you hear like ratchets and you hear like really like just plastic on plastic just grinding on each other. So yeah, it's, it's a struggle, man. But hey, like I mentioned, if you do get these in the right position, they're going to look really good, especially if you get it on a stand somehow. I mean, I can only imagine how beautiful this thing's gonna look on a stand. Um, maybe I'll look into something like that a little bit later on in the future because I really would love to have this kind of just you know posing around uh, in the air. But I mean, regardless, even without the uh, the stand, I mean, hey, I like it just standing up. And you're also going to have the Gatling guns right there on the shoulders, so in case you was wondering if these actually open, yes they do. Now you can also move the cockpit hatch open, and it will reveal a little Hero Yui right inside there. So for my final thoughts, um, honestly guys, I'm, I'm going to say it like this. If you have the skill set to make this better and to not break it, at least not to the severity that I have, get it. 100% get it. Now, it can still be a little bit pricey online. Uh, I would say definitely make sure you're doing a lot of cross-checking and all that. Just so that way you're not overspending for something that's about, what, 18 years old. Um, it definitely, you can, you can tell the age from building this kit. Um, there's a lot of problems, a lot of fitting issues that I actually had. Um, so I don't know if you're going to have the same problems as I did. But really just be cautious. And if you're going to paint this kit, I mean... You, you might have to do test fitting first. Uh, there's no way you can just paint it and then put it together uh, after you've painted each individual part. You're gonna have to do some test fitting, maybe a lot of like sanding down like I did, uh, just to get some parts to actually you know, you know stick together and everything. And even then you're gonna have to cut a lot of these pegs at angles and then the pegs might be weakened because it's an old kit. So you're gonna have a challenge ahead of you. And I know uh, a taco builder, he definitely uh, you know painted this kit and built it. It looked absolutely beautiful. Um, but you know, he's a master builder. So something I would lo love to aspire to is you know maybe one day tackle a perfect grade of this size or even this challenge and then you know make it all beautiful and everything. But that's, I mean, it's really all I got guys. You know, I, I had a struggle and you know, in my 12 hour stream, you definitely seen the struggle in my face. You seen the the pain and just the anxiety and everything. So I hope to never go through that again, but if it is gonna be for a good cause, I'll do it all over again. So really happy this is finally out of my collection. You know, uh, my, my closet has just shrank so much. I was like, oh my God, like I have so much space now. Um, so finally I can go ahead and start, you know, building some older kits that, you know, I'm like, you know what? I've had this for quite a few years. Maybe it's time to go ahead and just get rid of it. Um, but that's it for me guys. Definitely. Thank you all for watching uh, If you was at the live stream, thank you for being there as well um, You know, hey if you like this kit definitely go ahead and pick it up um, If you really feel like the wing Gundam is something you can just avoid You're not really missing much. Uh, you're just missing a really cool like I call it a statue at this point because I ain't moving the bitch um, But yeah, that's it for me. So definitely thank you all for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye. Bye